Can you beat Astroneer using snails only? That's what we're going to find out in today's challenge. With me, Mickey Mouse, a uh, Kuya game. I'm only allowed to use snails unless I must use something else to advance to my final goal, unlock the core of Silva. If we can unlock it, we can apply the same rule to all planets and eventually beat the game. I'm not going to carry any tool in my backpack, just the seven snails. Of course, to unlock all planets, we cannot avoid using some items like shadows and printer, because there is no snail yet that can print a shadow. I have already unlocked all snails and it's now time to drop my stuff. Tethers, drill mods, QD RTGs, hoverboard... Oh, portable oxygenator, really? Oh no, are you serious? Why did I even start this? First of all, we need to locate the gates. I'm not allowed to use the hoverboard nor any vehicle, so I'm going to feed Enoki. a seed so that I can run faster and make our quest quicker. I'm already running low on oxygen, I need to find some more seeds and feed Stilgar. I'm not really after their favorite seed which would triple their effects, because that would require us to go to other planets and I couldn't carry enough seeds anyway for all snails. Oh here's the gate. I need to power up this gate, but I have no generator nor batteries. No worry, here's... Croissant! Uh, sorry, I mean... Rogo! Unfortunately, there is no power slot on the terrarium, so we need to get a platform. Since I couldn't complete this without a platform, it's admitted in the challenge. This nail is going to provide 6 units of power per second, which is more than what we need. Silva's gate only needs 5 units of power for 30 seconds. And we have unlocked the first gate. Okay, now we need to do the same for all the 5 remaining gates. Bruh. Unfortunately the platform is not easy to carry around since I can't use a packager. And what's that? Why is that gate placed in midair? Oh, that can potentially be a problem. Not even with the Noki's power I can jump that high. Oh great, we'll have to end the video here, I'm kidding, this just means we must get a soil canister. It's fine, basically it's just part of the terrain tool and I couldn't complete the game without it, so the soil canister is officially allowed for this challenge. Every so often I make sure I collect some seed to feed Enoki since I don't have my hoverboard and for Stilgar too to provide me the most precious resource, oxygen. Ok, I was eventually able to activate all gates. Now it's time to look for the core of Silva. Just like in any survival game, when you want to dig down, you just dig straight down, isn't it? No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Never do that, under no circumstance. If you'll find a cave, you will fall to the ground, and that hurts and can potentially kill you. Oh wait, actually, who cares? I could just feed Princess. She will protect me from falling damage and plants attacks. But we'll still need to provide oxygen ourselves. Princess won't protect us from suffocation. Well, she's doing enough already, we can let Stilgar take care of our oxygen levels. Up to now, feeding Stilgar it's been the hardest part. It would really be useful if you could get a couple of oxygen tanks, but hey, this is a challenge, that's not allowed. Oh, it's getting pretty dark in the caves, I wish I had a work light. Wait, I have something much better than that. Sylvie. Wow, this is much better than a work light. As we are going down, the terrain is getting harder and harder. I wonder if we will be able to drill through the core without a drill mod. Oh wait, actually we have Bestifor, who can increase the all-over power of the terrain tool when attached to it. This hard soil now feels as soft as butter. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the core of the planet. No need to feed Stilgar in it, as we won't consume any oxygen. I'm not sure about this logic here, but hey, I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, we need to get some cores. Okay, let's go find some. I'm back with some cores. We're all set up to unlock the core with our bare hands and snails only. Now I'm challenging you 
let me know down in the comments any other ideas for a challenge and I might make a video about it. We have demonstrated that it's totally possible to beat Astroner using snails only because we can do the same on each and any planet as well. You're just going to need some extra power because Rogal will eventually not be able to produce enough energy to unlock the gate. Well, that's okay in my opinion, of course we cannot avoid using some items but we have demonstrated that snails can successfully replace most of the tools we normally use. I hope you enjoyed the video, this was Queer Game and the snails, stay safe. And we haven't even used Yuzagi.